A steam catapult launches a jet aircraft from the aircraft carrier John C. Stennis, giving it a speed of 170 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. Find the average acceleration of the plane. So what we have here is it's given us the final velocity. It's given it in terms of miles per hour. It's 170 uh, miles per hour. And it's given us the, um, final, uh, the final time which is 2.6 seconds. 2.6 seconds. We want to convert this into meters per second. So what we want to do rather quickly, 170, 170 miles over one hour, and I can multiply that by 5,280 feet in one mile. That cancels out the miles. Then I can multiply that by 12 inches in one foot. That cancels out the feet. I can multiply that by 2.54 centimeters per inch. That cancels out the inches. And I want to multiply this last one by 1 meter over 100 centimeters. Let me uh, rewrite that 100 over 100 centimeters. And that will put my, term, my answer in terms of meters. So let's do that really, really quickly. So I multiply all the top across, then I divide it by 100, and the answer is 273,588 meters per hour. And so I want to go ahead and uh, change that into seconds, so I can say that I can multiply that by um, one hour is equivalent to 3,600 seconds. And so it's simply um, dividing my uh, number here by 3,600, and it's equal to 75.9 meters per second. 75.9 meters per second is my final velocity. So I come back here and I write this in as 75.9. It's really 75.99, so close to 76 that we might as well just call it 76 meters per second. Now we can find out the acceleration because acceleration, and that's a horrible Acceleration um, in vector quantity, of course. Acceleration is uh, v final minus v initial divided by time. And so I know my final velocity, which is uh, 75.9 or 76. We'll just say 76. It's 76 meters per second. And I, and, uh, I know that the v initial it started at a zero point, and my change in time is 2.6 seconds. And so that's going to give my acceleration a uh, 76 divided by 2.6 is roughly 29.23 meters per second squared. Now the second part of the question says, assuming the acceleration is constant, find the distance the plane moves. So we know that our acceleration 29.23 our time is 2.6 seconds so we're going to take that and we're going to say um, acceleration equals 29.23 time equals 2.6 seconds and we're going to uh, set up a formula so the distance the displacement equals um, one half of acceleration times time squared so that means that we want to take 29.23 times 2.6 squared divided by 2 should equal the distance traveled. The number um, 2.6 squared is roughly um, 6 times 2.6 is 6.67. 6 6.67 and that times 29.23 divided by 2 equals 98.8 so 98.8 meters is going to be your units